All right, team, let's finish out the day strong by knocking out our evening chores. Let's do this. Yeah! Come on, guys. Trying to incorporate a little bit of exercise in as I'm gathering eggs here for the second time today. All right, ladies, what you got for me in here? You got anything? Any more eggs? Nope. Got a couple here for me. Not that many more. There we go. Fence right, back on. Micah should be cutting his on too. We got some packages. I know what those are. Yeah. All right, let's see here. All right, let's get these in here. Overall, my goal is to have a good work family life balance. And with that, have a normal working schedule, at least as much as possible, to make sure that we have dinner together, time to talk, have conversations, and also to go to bed at a normal, decent, regular time. <laughs> and speaking of bedtime, right here we have three organic mattresses from Birch. And it all started about a year ago when my wife said this. Hey babe, I've been thinking, you know, our mattress is pretty terrible and we've had it a long time and I don't think either one of us are getting great sleep. So would it be possible for us to get a new mattress and not just a new one, but a non-toxic one? So we don't have to breathe in all those nasty chemicals since we spend like a third of our life sleeping so i was like mm, okay go for it so she ordered an organic mattress from birch for a bedroom and i was surprised when it arrived because it was in this box that didn't look like a mattress could fit in it and i actually thought that she ordered the wrong thing and then when we opened it it just expanded to fit our bed <laughs> and for months now we've been sleeping on the mattress and we really do love it and it's also super neat that it's made of organic and natural materials like 
cashmere. It's also allergen and mildew resistant. Birch also has a 25 year warranty on the mattress and the mattress is really comfortable too. But one of the things that sold me on it when Lacey was like, it has a 100 night sleep trial, which means that you can return the mattress if you don't like it. So after our experience with our Birch mattress for our bedroom, I was like, so I have been thinking, a couple months ago we ordered us an organic mattress. Why don't we do the same for the kids? They've been sleeping on the DIY mattresses that you made out of the best materials that you can find. Yeah. But uh, why don't we upgrade them to something just a little bit more comfortable and a little more sturdy. <laughs> no, I totally agree, <laughs> totally agree. Click on the link below for more info on Birch Living products. You can get 20% off any mattress plus two free pillows. And if you have little ones, be sure to check out their kids line. And I can't wait to get these set up for the kids but not quite yet. We're gonna wait until we first remodel our home here, which is a yurt. And we're also gonna be setting up an additional yurt. In this space here that we've been living in, we have a kitchen, bathroom, and our bedrooms, but we're gonna convert this to just being bedroom spaces. And our new yurt is gonna be kitchen and dining. And speaking of kitchen, What's smelling so good over here in this kitchen? It smells good, doesn't it? It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, say it's winter, winter chicken dinner. That's what we're having. Yummy. We like to eat from the farm as much as we can. And tonight we're having chicken that we raised here on our farm. This is super simple. All I did was take a frozen chicken, put it in the pot, Plenty of salt, Redmond salt, mind you, it's our favorite. Some thyme, some bay leaves, a little bit of water, and then cook it under pressure for 90 minutes. And here you go. And we're also having a salad that Sayla is putting together. And it's lettuce that we grew, radishes, microgreens, and strawberries, Yummy. all from here on the farm. And the last thing for dinner is red beans and rice. And no, we didn't grow either one of those. Because we can't grow everything, right? <laughs> Having family meal times together have a huge impact on the mental, emotional, relational, and even physical health of a family. I strive to protect our family meal times as much as possible because I personally feel that it's vitally important for all members of the family to sit down at the same time to enjoy the same meal together versus everyone off in their own room eating a different meal at a completely different time than everyone else. Studies prove that family meal times are important for lowering rates of depression, lowering the risk of substance abuse, and even eating disorders. Our Father in heaven, great and mighty God, we thank you so very much for blessing us to have another productive day. Thank you for, for providing us with strength and energy. And it is important to us that we take time, pause, and give thanks, not in some meaningless ritual, but to give thanks for specific blessings that we receive for the day or that week or sometime recently. Strength and health and nourishment that we can continue on working and serving and helping out one another. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. My wife and daughter are the main ones that prepare the meals each night, but everyone is always willing to help out with eating everything. Yummy. Want some? Not you. Do I taste like cinnamon and brown sugar? That sounds like a good combination. And since the ladies do most of the food prep, the boys and I take care of cleanup after the meal. And even though we live in a yurt, yes, we do have indoor plumbing. And yes, we do have a dishwasher. And as we clean up, our leftovers either go into the refrigerator or in the food scrap bin for compost or for feeding our livestock.
I know this is becoming less and less popular, but I accept my role as head of the household and strive to lead my family. And that includes leading them most nights in family Bible study time. What does it mean to repent? Is it accepting Christ? Is real repentance merely an emotional feeling? And is repentance really necessary for salvation? After the meal, clean up, and study time together, on a number of nights during the week, we will sit down and watch TV together as a family. Even though I'm striving to have some nights to be no screen time, we feel it's not wrong to sit down and watch TV from time to time, especially together as a family. And then after that, it's time for the kids to start getting ready for bed. And they start brushing their teeth, getting their pajamas on, and giving their goodnight hugs. And sometimes there are multiple hugs. <laughs> and also sometimes there's injuries or fake injuries that just seem to happen out of nowhere to delay getting in the bed. Currently, the kids have a triple bunk bed system that I set up. But with their new mattresses and the new yurt that we're going to be setting up, well, each of the kids will have new beds, Sayla will have her very own room, and the boys will have their own room. After we get the kids to bed, Lacey and I have time together. But since she's had Hezekiah, she's been going to bed earlier than, well, she used to. I'm glad we have this waterproof mattress protector because I woke up to somebody this morning peeing on me and peeing in our bed. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. Oh, oh you he heard his feelings. Oh, I'm talking, oh, oh I'm sorry. it's that time. See, it's that time for bedtime. Mm -hmm. I get cranky. I get cranky too. Oh. I get cranky too, man. Just but I am way. really glad that we got this to protect our mattress because I really do like our mattress. Okay, I gotta hurry up and get this done before he really expires and gets super fussy. So it's bedtime, isn't it, buddy? I know. Yeah, since you come along, our parent time at night has gotten cut a lot shorter because you like want to go to bed. You want to go to bed. Monkey jumping on the bed. Monkeys don't like jumping on the bed at night, I guess. Shh. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. People keep missing, the clouds seem to fade. And every occasion I whisper your name. And once we're at the point where it's time for everyone to be in the bed, I go through and make sure the Wi-Fi is cut off, and make sure all the devices are on airplane mode, just to avoid any of the possible health risks that can come from those things. And then it's lights out. Good night, everybody.